Uh, looks like we're facing... I would say standard Sun offense, but for a while we actually didn't see Urshifu on Sun offense. Um, Sableye is an interesting addition, and Aegislash just hasn't been seen at all this generation because it's pretty Garbo in a Dynamax format. I wish Aegislash actually benefited from Max Guard, like it could go back to Shield form, but unfortunately not. Hey Jack, come, come in through with the uh, with the Twitter link. Uh, we could neutralize the Solar Power, um, but we don't actually gain much from that. Are we Flash Fire on the Chandelier? flame body um this is difficult this is difficult i think we might just lose to um sun we have trick room we do have trick room i'm gonna have to try the trick room lead which is not fun I don't like it. I don't. I don't like what we're doing here. I, I. I just feel uncomfortable. I just feel very uncomfortable. I kind of wish we were Misty Terrain on the um on the Weezing. If you're wondering why I'm leading Weezing, it's it's literally just to lower the damage from Solar Power because we're gonna have to take like a Max Air Stream or something. We might even be able to stop the um the Drought if they decide to lead. Urshifu. Sableye. Uh, actually not a terrible lead. They're single strike Urshifu, so we can go for a fairy type move. In fact, they're very, very fairy weak. If we had Dazzling Gleam, we'd be very happy. I'm gonna attempt my Trick Room. I don't mind losing this thing. And, uh... If I win with, like... I'll just, I'll just Strange Steam into this. Uh, we might get a Confusion. It might be useful. I feel like the Urshifu switches out, though. Urshifu may just switch out. We're really low ladder, and I want to make a really, really good read here. I'm going to max ooze on the, Urshif on the Urshifu switch. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to hope for the best. They stay in with the Urshifu, which is honestly kind of surprising. Maybe just to prevent Trick Room. I mean, the max ooze should still do a decent chunk. Fake out. Okay, that's fine. We got our trick room off. Let's see if I manage to pull through with this team. This is a really, really bad matchup. Stabilize the jack button. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. We get the plus one. It might even make it, so... I don't think that's a two-shot. I don't think that's a two-shot. And he could have Sucker Punch. I can't protect on the Urshifu either. Here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna imprison hoping that he Sucker Punches. And I'm also going to go for a max Starfall to hopefully one-shot the Sableye and prevent sleep for the rest of the game. Because I don't think Urshifu stays in. I feel like, I feel like Urshifu has to switch out. Ally switch? Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Tell me you go, what you went for the Sucker Punch. Bro, perfect. Perfect. Oh, you can protect... That's the thing. Dude, I don't even... I don't even remember Urshifu's ability when it, like, is active. The fact that I, like, don't remember that neutralizing gas is active is just a testament as to how short my memory is when I'm playing Pokemon. Cool. Uh, so we might have won. <laughs> Charizard can't Heat Wave. We're immune to Sleep Powder now. We can go for, like, Shadow Ball into Max Ooze, and it'll do a huge chunk to Charizard. Or Torkoal, so that's a thing. Um, yeah, this is actually pretty tough. Life Orb Urshifu isn't helping me out much. I kind of wish we were Sash. 
don't want to hold on to the Chandelure. Amoongus is going to be slower, or no, it's going to be faster than this thing. I'm kind of stuck. Uh, I'll just go ahead and I'll double into this thing. Who knows, maybe he'll, uh, maybe he'll cook a really, really bad move. I mean, he doesn't have any... He doesn't have anything to, um... Like, like he isn't that scary is what I'm saying, because he doesn't have sun up. Dude, what was that play? Accidental reads are intentional. Yeah, <laughs> definitely intentional. What's that play, dude? Are you just stalling up my, my Dynamax? I think we just knock out. Yeah, all right, so it's not a jack button. We should just knock it out, I think. Yeah, okay, cool. Not gonna lie, it's kind of getting nae nae on by this team. I have no idea how it functions. I have no idea how this team functions, to be honest. <laughs> to be entirely transparent, this is complete luck. Urshifu is looking better and better. Um, I think my priority... How many turns of Trick Room are left? Turns of Trick Room. My priority should be... I want to remove that Torkoal from the field more than anything, to be honest. Let me Shadow Ball. Yeah, because I can follow me. If, if I remove the Torkoal, I can like follow me into... um. I can follow me into uh, Surging Strikes and do a lot of damage. And then I think from there, Aqua Jet will KO. So they should Dynamax Charizard. And we're neutralizing the solo power, which is nice. I'm thinking they're going to go ahead and go for the, um, just like a Heat Wave into, um, or maybe even Burning Jealousy. Burning Jealousy Torkoal's picked up a bit. There's the yawn. Uh, I can't be put to sleep, sir. Okay. Uh, hopefully the Shadow Ball just picks up a KO then. Because I'm not, I'm not going to sleep. I have terrain up. Uh, this is the thing about low ladder, man. You never know what you're going to face. This is this is the epitome of low ladder. Is he max quakes? As this mad lad decides that max quake is his best play. Yeah, I have no idea. All right, uh, we have one more turn of trick room, so I'm gonna go for a spore, which will force him to um, it'll force him to max guard this turn. And then next turn I can reset my Trick Room. So I'll go for the Shadow Ball. And I'll Spore. This forces him to max card. Because uh, he has to respect the Amoongus. If he doesn't, he just loses. Um, and then next turn... if he, Yeah, no, he just loses. I was going to say, because even if he max guards, then I just get my Trick Room up again. Oh, Heat Wave was imprisoned. I figured he would have like Burning Jealousy or something. Cool. Let's reset it. Just to play it safe. Full Rage Powder. I'm just playing it safe, man. Just gotta play it safe. Yeah, okay. So we managed to pick up a win with that. I, I had no idea what I was doing with that team. But Weezing came in clutch. Weezing came in clutch. Heatwave Body Press Yawn Protect, yeah. But the real Torkoal players run defensive Burning Jealousy, man. Burning Jealousy Torkoal is kind of clean, especially with the Cinderace meta. Like, it, it's 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 nice, you know, because they always max Airstream turn one. Dorotheus with the subscription. Coming through with the subscription. Welcome to the Boosted Boys. The internet's 26th greatest fan base? We'll call it that. We'll call it the 26th greatest fan base. Thank you so much, man. I very much appreciate that. I feel like I say I very much appreciate that a lot, you know? I definitely feel like I say that a lot. We are now 12 subscribers away from the VGC 2020 Series 6 tier list. Yeah, I'm kind of confused about the Wide Glass and the Kingdred. 
Ally switch is one of the ways to protect it from Cinderace. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. All right. Get into it. Let me know if the music's too loud or too quiet or something, guys. Just keep me updated. Sub 50 fan base pog. <laughs> You better have just given me some YouTube content with this. Oh my god, I am about to overheat the living hell out of this Amoongus. It better not be Sash Amoongus, because we have seen that before, and it does not make me... It's not. Max Flare that boy. Max Flare that boy. What's... What's Dedene's speed? I have to double check to make sure I'm not doing this in the wrong order. Because I might go for a nuzzle on the... Oh boy. 101. Okay, um, I'm just gonna nuzzle. Or I'll nuzzle into the Amoongus, assuming that... Because if it's Sash, then it then I nuzzle the Amoongus and KO it. And if it's not Sash, then I nuzzle it into the Golduck and I'm fine. I'm real excited for this. I'm really This better work out fine. Better be a fire strategy, man. V Sash Amoongus, just so I can Nene. Okay, that's fine. Oh wait, I'm dumb, aren't we No, we're minus, sorry. We're not Lightning Rod, we're fine. We are plus minus, we're fine. Thoughts on AV Pharah this series? I feel like Ferrothorn's one of those Pokemon where you think about running AV and then you kind of realize that it needs the um it needs the assault vest to function or it needs the uh protect and leech seeds to function. Can I max lightning helping hand to KO? I kinda wanna max strike just because it's safe. I'll max strike because it lets me hit everything pretty much. Um I'm fairly certain. 150 base power with KO, so we'll go for a nuzzle into that Golduck again. Yeah, that thing's gone. That thing's gone, dude. I was going for a nuzzle instead of Rising Voltage, because I wanted to play it safe, just in case it, like, kind of maxed or some crap. Opera? Icy Wind. Okay, miss? I'm fine with that. You're at minus one, bro. And I can ally switch. I have not even ally switched yet. Yeah, if you want an offensive Ferrothorn, Delmize is your better option because you got triple stab. And a higher attack stat and a relatively good defenses. I mean, AV Pharaoh is going to be good for Season 6, but I, I just feel like you get so much more out of it without the Assault Vest. Oh no! It's Incineroar, what are we going to do? I certainly hope I don't just Rising Voltage and KO it. Let's do that, in fact. Let's just do it. Max Lightning, or I'm going to be slower than my own Dedenne, but it, it shouldn't matter. Let me ally switch, assuming he's actually going to go for, um... Flare Blitz here. That would make sense, right? Flare Blitz. Why don't we just KO? I think we just KO. I'm pretty certain I'm going to be faster than this, than this Incineroar. Might be stupid. I may be stupid. I might have needed to, um... The ally switch there. Alright, there's the protect. Perfectly fine. Yeah, we're using we're using viewer teams right now. We're using viewer teams right now. We've just been nay-naying with this stupid thing. 
Okay, now we have Rising Voltage Spam on the Dedene, which actually has a pretty solid speed tier, so... And we haven't even... Dude, we haven't even revealed Ally Switch. So we might be able to get um, a really powerful uh, Rising Voltage off of Manectric Superior Special Attack stat. Alright, Cinderace. We have Rain in the back, so we can just target into the Golduck and probably win. In fact, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll just target into Golduck. In fact, I'll just double into the Golduck. I, I don't mind this at all. Actually, no. We're going to ally switch because it's funny. Is it? Mm. He's not leaving Manectric alone. I'll ally switch because it's funny. We're, we're going to click the funny move. Big funny move, man. It Oko's G-Max Lapras? Okay, good. <laughs> good. I'd be really surprised if it didn't, actually. The Dene, click the funny move. How you doing tonight, Ashton? Are my lo-fi beats loud enough? I'm not certain. Aha, uh -huh. funny move. Guys, we need a salute for Dedene. Absolute champion here. The absolute mad lad. Oh, baby. This is so stupid. I love it. <laughs> I kind of want Dedene to get the win here. I'm just going to double rising voltage and it should do the trick. I want to see which one gets the KO here. I mean, it's going to do a ton. It's not going to KO. But I have Rain in the back, so I win regardless. He has to Airstream if he wants to beat the Rain in the back. This man's just thinking, did I just get 4 would by a Chipmunk? I think Dedene's a chipmunk, right? And Scout. I, I don't know what it is. It's stupid. Oh, you're about to get rising voltaged. <laughs> and your life orb. And you're ugly. Oh, that did so much. That did so much, man. Sunlight's gone. Sun is down freezing cold. I'm a little bit confused about the damp rock on this thing. I don't see too much use for it. Alright. Uh, we're wide lens on this thing. Or no, we're not. We're not. I always win by clicking these two moves. You know what? You know what? I want to win with Manek- Oh, I just misclicked so hard. I mean, it doesn't matter. As long as I move- Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. I wanted to win with Hyper Beam Manectric, but it ended up not mattering. Okay, that's funny. That That's really funny. I, I like this team. <laughs> it's so stupid, but so entertaining, dude. It's such an entertaining concept. But yeah, uh, that's going to be it for the stream tonight, guys. Thank you so much for coming out. I really, really appreciate you. Do me a favor, uh, leave a like on the video when it comes out, <laughs> uh, follow the channel, and uh, if you want to do me a favor, if you want to subscribe, I'm going to be doing a tier list at uh, 50 subscribers. 